get you a chair. Make sure it's not on wheels and it's something that you feel uh, sturdy balancing on. And also, and this isn't totally necessary, but a little towel or like, like a strap or something, we might use this, but it can really be just a little hand towel that'll, that'll work. Um, okay, we are in, we're in um, our studio today. This is a uh, Power and Grace Yoga in downtown New Bedford. It's a little, little section of it. I figured it was nice, a good time for um, a little change, <laughs> a little change of scenery. So, um, welcome, welcome to the studio. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Um, I don't have music playing today, but it's only because of technical difficulties. I absolutely love music with yoga. Um, the, the yoga that I practice, Faha Yoga, is a lot about rhythm, the rhythms of the universe and the earth and really connecting in. And there's some really awesome recorded music out there that we get to listen to anytime we want. Um, it's an amazing time to be alive. It really is <laughs> interesting, but amazing. Um, so I invite you, if you're on mute, to go ahead and play some of your own music if you want. Um, something that you feel really connected to that relaxes you or even gives you a little bit of energy. That's okay. Yoga can give you energy. <laughs> All right. So... Starting with your feet rooted to the earth. Let's place uh, right hand on the belly, left hand on the heart. Gently close your eyes. <sighs> Pelvic floor pulling up. And gently drawing your belly button towards the back of your spine and up into your ribs. And this is, this is it's gently. So you still want to be able to breathe into your belly, even though you have this like energetic suggestion of belly button pulling in and up. And you might notice just by putting your hands on your heart and your belly, you automatically start to take deeper breaths into your hands. Sitting up, comfortably tall, feet rooted to the earth, spine ascending to the sun. Let's take five breaths here. So letting the inhales fill your belly, you'll feel your hand lift, fill your heart space, your lungs, and exhale out of the mouth. Four more breaths like that at your own pace. breath here, becoming more and more present, feeling a shift in your energy, a shift in your awareness. And if you can feel your body shifting out of fight or flight and into being balanced, centered, this is where healing happens, when we're at homeostasis. And bring both hands to your heart, resting both hands on your heart space. Make a wish, say a prayer, set an intention. gently flutter open push energy down through your feet breathe in reach your arms up overhead <sighs> exhale thumbs to the heart and placing your hands on your on your thighs face down let's just roll through the shoulders so bringing shoulders up right up by the ears and then exhale roll them back and down Add your breath. So as your shoulders come up, you 
breathe in. As they roll back, you breathe out. Like this well-oiled, organic machinery. Shoulders are this pretty, pretty fantastic rotating joint. And let's switch direction. So breathe in, shoulders go up, exhale, they come forward. Already feeling the heat start to build. One more time. And come back to rest. Belly button pulling in and up, pelvic floor pulling up. Feeling your shoulders way down away from your ears and your shoulder blades gently kissing back behind. So you're opening up your heart space. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, arms go up overhead. Really reach up, so push down through feet. Feel your sits bones rooted to your chair. Reach up through your fingers, like you're getting taller. Exhale, bend into your elbows, heart lifts. And draw your elbows down towards your kidneys. Spread your fingers nice and wide. And rotate your thumbs backwards your heart lift even a little bit more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Spine stays tall. Chin drops down towards your chest. And gently roll right ear towards right shoulder. Chin comes back down to center. Left ear towards left shoulder. One more each side. Make sure you're breathing. And let chin drop down towards the chest. Inhale, bring it back to neutral. Exhale, melt. Hands come onto the thighs. And breathe in, push down through your feet. Lift your heart. So you stay right where you are. I'm gonna turn so you can see. But seated cat-cow. So inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, scoop tailbone, let chin drop down to chest, rounding your spine. Take three more like that. Breathe in. Breathe out, scoop tailbone underneath, nice. Inhale. Last one, exhale, pause at the bottom here. So pause, and this is like a seated cat. Maybe even Hang from your knees, you're holding onto your knees. If that's available for you. Inhale, one last cow, seated cow stretch. Shoulders roll back and down, heart lifts. And inhale, come back to neutral. And let's make our way to the back of the chair. Go ahead, get up. You can do your own little dance. Back of the chair. <laughs> so now we're using the chair for balance and leverage. We have our lightning bolt to start. Belly button pulling in and up, pelvic floor pulling up. Bend into your knees. So toes are facing towards the chair, they're parallel. Knees don't go past the toes. And you can either use the chair for balance here, or you can bring your thumbs to your heart. Or to fire it up even more, bring your arms up overhead. Check in with your lower back. Shouldn't be any pressure, any pinching in the lower back. If you find that happening, tilt your pelvis under like this. See that little, that little tilt there? That'll lengthen the lower back. Take any pinching of the lower back out. All right, three more breaths here. Stay calm. Stay rooted. And feel the spaciousness of your breath in your body. And send energy down through your heels to lengthen your legs. Reach arms up overhead. Maybe lean back a little tiny bit at the top if that feels good. And exhale, thumbs to the heart. 
and bring your hands to your chair. All right, take a wiggle back just a little bit. Leave your right foot forward and step your left foot back. But we're coming into pyramid feet here. So we've been doing um, some warrior feet. We're, this is pyramid feet. So your hips are parallel. In warrior, they're opened up. So now we've got hips parallel. The back foot has a little bit of an angle to it. The right toes are pointing towards your chair. And you're not on a tight rope, so this left foot is off to the left a little bit. Okay. So you might already be feeling something happening here. <laughs> Notice if this left hip is kind of going back. You might even take your, your, let's see, right hand to your right hip. Push that right hip back. That will bring the left hip forward. So either just stay right here for a few moments. You can take your forearms to the chair if that feels good. You wanna deepen the stretch a little bit more, bend into that back knee, lift the front toes without going any further than your body wants to. Yoga is not about um, pushing past your, ed your edge or ripping or tearing. It's about allowing and going with the flow. And that includes in your body. Breathe in, breathe out, and place the ball of the right foot back down to the earth if you lifted it. All right, hands to the chair. Step it up, step it up. Let's add a little bit of movement. Just kind of roll through your legs. Maybe the shoulders get involved. Okay, now let's come to our warrior on this side. So, right foot stays forward, left foot steps a little bit further back. Now your heel, um, your foot is, at, um, is perpendicular to, the, to your chair. So we've got this hip opening, okay. Right hand stays on the chair, right knee above the right ankle. That's really important, and it's important that the right toes don't go past, the right knee doesn't go past the right toes. All right, you can wiggle that foot forward. Okay, side angle, so breathe in. Left arm goes up by the left ear. It might be opposite, you guys. So maybe to you it looks like my right arm. This is about getting this oh, stretch up and down that side of the body. Breathe in. Breathe out, let the top arm slowly come down towards the back leg. Breathe in, reach that arm back up. Breathe out, one more time. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, bend into the top arm's elbow. Maybe rotate your heart up towards the sky. Belly button pulling in and up, make sure you're engaging your lower abs. You're pushing down through your feet. Breathe in. And breathe out, twist, both hands back to the chair. Nice strong lower abs, lift that back heel, step, step it up. Add a little bit of movement, so just rolling through the ankles. <sighs> Inhale, arms reach to sky. Exhale, take hold of opposite elbows up above your head. Push down through your right foot, lean over to your left. And if you feel like you want some balance, one of the hands can sneak down to the chair. Breathe in. Come back to center, breathe out. Now push down through your left foot, lean out over to your right. And again, if you want a little bit of balance, a hand can sneak down to the chair. Breathe in. Breathe out, come back to center. Reach arms up. And place hands once again on the chair. Let's go to the other side with all that. So now the left foot stays forward. Actually, step back just a little bit. I think we need a little more room. Step back a little bit. Left foot stays forward, right foot steps back. Not too far. Left toes stay pointing towards the chair. Right toes are at like a 45 degree angle and your feet are not in line with each other. This right foot's off to the side a little bit. Okay, so now right hand on the chair, take your left hand to your left hip, 
gently guide that left hip back so your hips are parallel with each other. Okay. And you can just hang out here, nice long spine. There could be a little bend into the left knee if you're feeling like the back of the left knee feels really strained. You can bend it a little bit, no problem. And if you want, come down into your forearms if that's available. Maybe take hands to chair, bend into the back knee, and lift the front toes. Wherever you're at, you're breathing. So the, the breath feeds the postures. The postures don't take the breath away. Inhale. Exhale. All right, if the ball of the left foot is lifted, place it back down into the earth. Step back foot up, maybe add a little bit of movement. And going right to our side angle, little side angle series on the other side. So, left foot stays forward, right foot steps further back. Now the toes, that right foot is parent, par, um, par, hmm, that word there. <laughs> So, and your feet are in line, your feet are in line. So now your hips are open rather than, um, rather than closed here, okay. Left hand on the chair, left knee above the left ankle. Left knee doesn't go past the left toes. Inhale, bring the back arm up right by the ear. So you wanna really feel this glorious stretch up and down the right side of the body. And breathe in. Breathe out. Nice and slow, right arm makes its way down. Right, feel that movement. Inhale, right arm goes back up by the ear. You can either choose to keep this left knee bent the whole time or if it starts to be too much, you can lengthen it, no problem. <laughs> One more. Right arm comes down towards the back leg. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, bend into the right elbow. So cactus out that arm. And if you want, push into the left hand. The left hand pushes into the chair. Rotate your heart up towards the sky. Nice, strong lower abs. That part's really important. Breathe in. And breathe out. Take it back forward. Both hands to the chair, back heel lifts, step it up. Now let's bring both feet back, way, way back. Heel toe your feet a little bit further than hip width, hip width distance apart. Hands on the chair. There can be quite a bit of a bend into the knees. Maybe head hangs heavy, or maybe this is like too much for you today for whatever reason and you wanna just have your forearms on the chair. You want to feel this stretching up and down the back of the legs. <clears throat> Take one more breath here. A little bend into the knees to walk it forward. Get your your strap or your little towel if you happen to have one. If you don't, no worries. Um, we'll use that. So go ahead and have that in your right hand if you've got it. Breathe in, arms go up overhead. And exhale, either take hold of opposite elbows. So that's maybe if you don't have the towel or if that just feels good. Heel toe your feet once again about hip width distance apart if they're not already there. If you do have your little strap or towel, take your hands, right, the thumbs in, Push down through your feet, lengthen your arms, lift your heart. And this could be done by interlacing your fingers too without the towel, again, if that's there for you. And your hands can be any distance apart on the towel. So it'll open it up a little bit more if your hands are a little further apart. That might feel better for you. Wherever you're at, breathe. Oh, such good stuff. And let this melt. So bend into knees first, 
Let your shoulders round forward just a little bit so you can comfortably release the strap or your elbows, whatever you had a hold of. So let's just shake it out a little bit. So shake out your wrists, shake out your feet, maybe even your head. You know, this seems really silly, but this is actually really important. <laughs> Dogs do this, <laughs> right? They're like shaking off um, trauma, energy, stress, whatever it is. Okay. Ooh. And let's go back. Let's go back to our chair. Okay. I'm going to angle it this way. So sitting on the chair, I'm going to angle mine a little bit. I don't want to be totally facing you for this next bit, but... You'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so take your feet out to the, um, like way out, as far as they'll go, if you still feel comfortable. Mm. Heels turn in, toes turn out. Sit up comfortably tall. Spine ascended to the sun. So this is like a seated goddess pose. Um, now, hands to the, like, just above the inside of your thighs. Use the heel of your right hand. Now keep pushing into the left hand too. Use the heel of your right hand or that back, back hand. Push into your inner thigh to twist shoulder to the inner opposite thigh. Oh, if this is all you do, this might be, this might be enough. Oh, so good. All right. Inhale, bring it back up. We're going right to the same side, same side. So push, and don't be afraid to push on your own body. You really want that leverage there to help this twist. Notice if this left, this knee is bowing in, make sure it stays opened up, that hand will help. All right, bring it back up. Oh. One more time, same side, same side. Twist. And breathe. <laughs> Inhale, bring it back to center. Just pause, let that prana rush. You'll feel that energy rush. Let's go right to the other side. So now it's the other hand. Left for me, it's the left hand. It might be the right for you, but left hand. Really pushing on your legs. Don't be afraid to push on your own body. Roll the left shoulder or even the left, think about it being the left rib cage towards your inner right thigh. Inhale, bring it back up. Two more. Uh. Inhale, bring it back up. Again, make sure you're breathing. Last one. Uh, twist. Inhale, uh, and just pause, breathe out. And heel toe your feet back together. One more stretch here. For this one, ease your way back a little bit more. This is gonna look different for everyone. Option one, just bring this left knee off to the side so you're opening up the outside of this, this hip here. Okay, option two, take hold of the back, the back of the knee. Bring this foot right on the chair. Hopefully your chair has enough of a, a seat here. So now your sole of your left foot is into your right thigh. Okay, and you can gently use your left hand to open this hip up. If you're feeling like the ankle or the foot, um, it, like if it's really digging into the chair, you can take your towel and put it underneath. Okay, so this is option two. Option three, you're picking up this ankle and it's coming, this, this leg and it's coming to the outside of um, the right knee. So it looks like this. So you're not, if you have your ankle right on the thigh, sometimes it feels like it's digging in. So if you can, slide it over a little bit more. Okay, and then same thing, you can use the left hand to gently open this hip up. Option if you're here to take your forearms to your shin or the inside of your calf. If you're here, I think 
kind of lean forward a little bit, only if it feels good. If you're here, you could lean forward. You're going to be getting some benefits no matter where you're at. Just take two more breaths. Breathe in, lift it back up if you fold it forward. Breathe out, slide that foot back to the earth if it was lifted. Take a pause. And then we'll go right to the other side. So, option one, that right knee just opens up. Right, getting that, you're opening up the hip here, absolutely. Option two, pick that right foot up, right foot comes to the inside of the left thigh so that my right knee is falling out. You can have your, your uh, towel underneath that ankle if it feels like it's a lot for the side of the foot. And then option three, go ahead, cross. Cross that right ankle just above into the outside of this bottom knee. Make sure this foot is flexed. And gently opening up using the right hand to open up. Right, gently pushing on this right leg. Maybe leaning forward if that feels okay. Everyone's gonna look a little different. Maybe you're here. Right. Breathe in. Maybe you're here. Breathe out. And then lift it back up if you fold it forward. Let that top foot slide back onto the earth. You stay right where you're at. I'm going to spin my chair. <sighs> and coming into our making our way to our final meditation. One more little flow together. Breathe in, let the arms reach up overhead. Exhale, thumbs to the heart. Recall your, that wish that you made or that prayer or the intention you set at the beginning of our practice. Place your hands on your thighs, either face up or face down, holding that intention, that prayer, that wish in your heart. Gently close your eyes. Spending maybe, maybe 20 seconds here, that's it. A brief meditation together. Your eyes gently flutter open as you bring your thumbs to your heart. The divine light in me sees and honors the divine light in all of you. Namaste.